What's good, people? I wanted to come on and make a quick video before the game comes on because I just saw a report that I guess came out last night, maybe this morning, I'm not really sure, that uh, Bruce Allen and Jay Gruden are going to keep their jobs. And to be quite honest with you, I kind of figured that Gruden was going to keep his. The Allen news, though, is a little bit of a surprise to me. I'm not certain what the Redskins think they're going to be doing by keeping Bruce Allen, okay? I, I really don't understand the reasoning in this factoring. The only thing I can think of is they're going to try to shift him over to the business side. But everybody who's involved knows that you can't trust the man being in the building because he has his hands on all business decisions and all team decisions. So I could see them trying to shuffle the deck chairs a little bit on the Titanic as it continues to sink. And you know, what kills me is, is that I'm not certain that Snyder even understands this, okay? I've heard for years that he keeps himself inside of a bubble to kind of get away from all of the, the different stories or whatever and can't understand what's going on. And, and, and there's been things reported that he supposedly is shocked at the way that fans are acting and that they want Bruce Allen fired. Um, I don't understand how he could feel that way if he is such a diehard fan. Any diehard fan right now, after the way this team has performed, even with the injuries over the last two years, any diehard fan right now is fed up of what's going on with this football team. Fix it. Now, what this report was basically stating was that a lot of the Redskin coaches could be seen, could be shown the door. Uh, for instance, Greg Minuski, our defensive coordinator, is looking like he might lose his job. You know, I've seen some names pop up. I would love if we could get Todd Bowles to be our defensive coordinator. I know he wasn't a good coach at all, head coach, but I also know that the expectations were a bit too high for him uh, with the Jets anyway. So I'd like to see him as our defensive coordinator if Minuski is shown the door. There's quite a few other people I'd like to consider as well. That's a video for another day. I just wanted to come on and, and talk about this real quick. And I, I'm going to tell you, I am not happy with this at all. I really don't understand what the problem is here. From what the report was stating, Daniel Snyder thinks that Bruce Allen is going to have to be needed to get a stadium deal done. You know... I really don't agree with that. I mean, DC, if they don't agree to letting us move back to RFK, then we have to shift to either Virginia or Maryland. If Virginia wants to play hardball, then it looks like they'll end up back in Maryland again. There's not much that we can, that can be done about the situation. I know it's not going to make people happy, but if the states don't play ball with our ball club, then there's not much we can do about it. To say that we can't get a deal done without Bruce Allen is ridiculous. It sounds like another excuse. Fire this man. Why does he continue to hold his job? He's done worse than Vinny Serrata. He's caused more problems. I really don't get it. I really don't. You know, and that's all I got, man. I'll come back and do a video after the game this afternoon or tonight. I just wanted to come on and talk about this real quick. That's all I got. Oh, the Redskins.